A new strange observation is shaking up theories about 3 Eye Atlas, the mysterious Manhattan-sized interstellar object that has been blazing through our solar system. The object, which has been traveling at approximately 150,000 miles per hour, appears to be shooting off periodic puffs of gas and dust that scatter the sunlight around it, potentially pointing to the inner workings of an alien spacecraft. In a new blog post titled, Are the Jets from 3 Eye Atlas Pulsed Like a Heartbeat? Harvard scientist Avi Loeb wrote that a new study of the mystery object's so-called cosmic cadence found that 3 Eye Atlas's light blinks repeat every 16.16 .16 hours, like an interstellar lighthouse. When this uh, ice reservoir faces the sun, it sublimates, it evaporates, and you end up getting a puff of gas and dust into space and when it goes away into the night side facing away from the sun then uh, no emission of gas or dust comes off it because it's getting very cold it's frozen and so periodically as the object rotates one gets puffs of uh, gas and dust in the direction of the sun triggering uh, a plume of gas and dust the coma uh, just like a heartbeat feeding blood into the veins of uh, an organ. Another possibility is that if the object is technological in origin, uh, perhaps there is some inner cycle of activity within this technological object that has a period of 16 hours and therefore uh, there are uh, ejections of uh, jets from the object that are modulated periodically over 16 hours. For example, if these are thrusters which are used for navigation uh, perhaps the puff of gas from those thrusters is modulated periodically. Analysts claim that the heartbeat originated from the rotation of the object's nucleus, but Loeb told the Post that this was improbable as, quote, less than 10% of the light comes from the center. Based on the Hubble Space Telescope image snapped on July 21st, 2025, the lion's share of the object's glow emanates from the coma, the halo of gas and dust that forms around the solid nucleus when the comet approaches the sun. Loeb said the best way to find out whether 3 Eye Atlas is natural or technological is to monitor the object's position with a series of photos. One way to find out uh, whether we are seeing pulsations that are technological in origin or natural in origin is to monitor uh, the pulsations in real time to make a movie of the object, seeing how it brightens periodically, watching whether the uh, variations are in the direction of the sun, in which case there would be a natural explanation for that, or in some other direction, in which case a technological origin might be more likely. In the coming weeks, we're expecting a flood of data from uh, hundreds of observatories on Earth and the Space Telescope, the Webb Telescope, the Hubble Telescope, and depending on what the data shows, uh, it would be possible to infer the nature of 3 Atlas. For example, if we identify the speed of the jets, the composition of the jets, and uh, the fraction of mass that was lost by 3 Atlas as it came closest to the sun, uh, as being significantly similar to what we expect from a, a rocky iceberg, uh, then uh, indeed uh, it will appear to be a natural object. However, if we will find, for example, that the jets are moving at orders of magnitude larger speed than uh, expected from the sublimation of pockets of ice on the surface of a rock, then it would suggest that perhaps they are technologically uh, produced. In July, NASA's Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS Telescope, in Chile made a groundbreaking discovery, a potentially billions-year-old icy celestial comet blasting through our solar system. The discovery marked only the third time a mysterious object from beyond our cosmic neighborhood had been observed passing through our solar system, leading scientists to name the comet 3I Atlas. 3I for it being the third observable interstellar object, and Atlas for the acronym of the discovery team and their telescope. In the space agency's initial announcement after making the discovery, NASA announced the comet was believed to have come from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius, and posed no threat to Earth, with estimations it would pass 150 million miles away from our only known home. 
But as scientists further analyzed 3i Atlas, the interstellar object started showing some unusual characteristics, leading to some disagreements, especially from one scientist, on whether the object was a comet at all. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb led the charge on the skepticism when he posted a blog in August claiming the cosmic nomad appeared to be emitting its own light. After Loeb and a colleague analyzed photos released by NASA of the object, the astrophysicist theorized that 3i Atlas's glow was likely not reflected from the sun, but rather from a source diameter smaller than 100 meters. The brightness profile analysis led Loeb to speculate that the nucleus of the object could be in fact nuclear and possibly an engine crafted by alien people. But even with Loeb's alien theories now circulated in the media and online, NASA maintained that 3i Atlas was merely a comet, and fellow scientists also shared their own skepticism about Loeb's claims. It's irresponsible science. This is just coincidence, the path that it comes through the solar system. There's a perfectly natural explanation for this. It is behaving like a regular comet. Once it's close enough to the sun and Earth, and big enough to reflect enough light that we can see it, it just becomes another speck of light that's moving among the stars. And then, you know, they're discovering a lot of these every night. It was becoming interesting once you trace the orbit to something that's from outside the solar system. But whether scientists believe in 3i Atlas's alien origins or not, the celestial visitor has kept scientists on their toes. In August, an analysis of brand new images revealed 3i Atlas was covered by a conspicuous cloud of carbon dioxide, shocking space experts. The pictures showed 3i Atlas glowing bright red with a seemingly threatening aura during a phase expected by scientists called outgassing. But even though scientists anticipated the outgassing phase as the object approached the sun, the object dumped out a conspicuous amount of carbon dioxide and a surprisingly small amount of water and carbon monoxide, according to experts, including Loeb. In a blog post, Loeb wrote that 3i Atlas's outgassing was 16 times more extreme than expected for a typical comet at the same distance from the sun. The object then started emitting a metal alloy never before witnessed in nature, known as nickel tetracarbonyl. Coincidentally, the type of refined compound is used in metal coatings in manufacturing, including in the aerospace industry, to strengthen surface materials. And as the object continued its journey through our solar system, it exhibited several more science-stumping phenomena. While approaching its closest point to our solar star in a phenomenon known as perihelion, Loeb cited a report from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, which he claimed provided the first evidence of a non-gravitational acceleration by the celestial object. Loeb noted that while most comets get a slight boost when their ice turns to gas and spouts out like a jet, an event known as the rocket effect, 3i Atlas was showing way more zip than expected during its approach. As the object sped up, it also shifted colors again, appearing bluer than the sun, leading Loeb to speculate that if it wasn't a natural signature, it could also be a hot engine or source of artificial light. Images captured on November 8th of the strange object even led Loeb to theorize that the object had a complex jet structure, which could be a set of thrusters used for navigation of a spacecraft. When 3i Atlas came uh, closest to the sun on October 29th, we were unable to observe it from Earth because the sun was in between Earth and the object, perhaps for a reason, but maybe just as a matter of uh, chance. At any event, it looks as if uh, the object did not break up. Uh, we see jets coming from it, so it maintained its integrity. Uh, however, uh, most recently, there is a razor thin stream of material in the direction of the sun and opposite to the direction of the sun. And right now, I'm studying the possibility that this, uh, these two streams might have been generated by the tidal disruption of this object, meaning that the gravitational tide of the sun may have stretched fragments from uh, 3A Atlas to a scale of order a million kilometers or longer. Scientists are still certain, though, that 3i Atlas is just another comet. According to Futurism, on October 24th, the Meerkat radio telescope in South Africa finally picked up the first ever radio signal from the object after two failed attempts in September. 
The telescope reportedly detected radio absorption lines by hydroxyl radicals, which are created when water molecules are broken down by sunlight. The radio signal discovery now suggests that Atlas is a comet that's losing water when flying by the sun, and not a potentially hostile alien probe sent to do recon on our solar system. A lot of people have pointed telescopes at this. Um, the telescopes show in every way that this is a normal comet, um, but there are some voices out there that persist in saying it's aliens. So I'm here to tell you it's not aliens. Scientists will have a chance to determine whether Atlas is natural or technological when it makes its closest pass of Earth on December 19th, 2025. So far, the best data collected by NASA instruments was the one uh, taken by uh, the Hubble Space Telescope on July 21st and by the Webb Telescope on August 6th. And we anticipate that in early December, we'll get uh, additional data by the same space telescopes uh, that will supplement hundreds of observatories around the globe. All of that in anticipation of uh, three atlas coming closest to Earth on uh, December 19th. And let's just all hope that uh, we will conclude that indeed it behaves as a natural object and it will not send any unwanted gifts to Earth for the holidays. But Loeb said whether 3 eye Atlas is alien tech or not, Having the object fly through our solar system is a momentous occasion for astronomers. All of these uh, observatories are monitoring what happens with 3 Atlas just because we are lucky that it came within five degrees of that plane. And uh, perhaps, you know, just as in my blind date with my wife, you know, I was very lucky and uh, haven't met someone else uh, as good since then. Uh, perhaps uh, the same is true about 3 Atlas. We should regard it as a very like, lucky blind date uh, from interstellar space.